what's going on with Indian startups having their valuations slashed. US asset manager Vanguard seems to have dealt a significant blow to the ride-hailing giant Ola, slashing its valuation by about 50%. The investment firm disclosed this reduction in the value of its shares in ANI Technologies, Ola's holding firm, as of May 2020-23. This markdown amounts to a decrease in Ola's valuation to approximately $3.5 billion, a stark drop from its previous valuation of $7.3 billion at the close of 2021. The news comes as a reflection of the challenging market conditions faced by Indian startups. Despite the markdown in valuation, Ola remains determined to navigate the challenging market landscape and continue its growth trajectory. As investors reassess their holdings in Indian startups, the future for companies like Ola remains uncertain. Only time would tell if Ola can reclaim its lost valuation and maintain its position as a prominent player in the competitive ride healing industry, particularly in the wake of a weakening global economy which has significantly impacted market capitalizations across numerous public companies. Ola is not alone in grappling with such valuation adjustments, joining a growing list of high-profile Indian startups that have experienced similar reductions by investors. What about Gupshaw? In a tumultuous landscape of Indian startups facing these valuation markdowns, the conversational messaging app has become the latest victim of devaluation. US asset management company Fidelity Investments reduced its fair valuation of the SaaS unicorn by about 30% to about $957 million. Gupchuk's journey to the unicorn club had a $100 million investment in Tiger Global during its Series X funding round in April 2021, propelling its valuation to $1.4 billion. Devaluation came in the wake of a 24% year-on-year decline in Gupchuk's net profits, amounting to about Rs. 40 crore, despite a 1.5x year-on-year jump in operating revenue to Rs. 1130 crore. Gupchup and Ola's predicament is not isolated, as other Indian unicorns have also encountered valuation markdowns and global macroeconomic challenges. For example, Misho faced a 10% reduction in valuation by Fidelity. Baiju's saw its value slashed to $8.3 billion by BlackRock. The private shares fund marked on Eruditus's valuation to $2.9 billion. Parent Capital cut Swiggy's valuation to $6.5 billion. Janus Henderson and Newberger Berman brought down Pharmacy's valuation on separate occasions. Even Swiggy witnessed Invesco slash its valuation in 2020-23. Newberger Berman reduced the valuation of Pine Labs and Pharmacy. So fair value updates issued by investors may be standard practices and are subject to internal policies not necessarily indicating permanent valuation markdowns. For instance, even though Baiju's faced a fair value reduction to $8.3 billion by BlackRock, it continues to raise funds at a valuation of $22 billion. Fidelity's successive markdowns of Gupshop and Vanguard's markdown of Ola shed light on how investors assess Indian startups' valuations differently amid a funding winter and concerns over potential overestimation of the country's internet market. Founders and veteran investors alike have voiced caution over the potentially inflated market perceptions that prevailed in 2020-21 during fundraising rounds. As Indian startups continue to navigate these challenging times, how will this valuation landscape evolve? Will Kupshuk, Ola and its peers regain investor confidence? Will they secure a prosperous future in the competitive startup ecosystem? The journey to success for these unicorns depend on their ability to adapt and thrive amidst a changing financial environment. And what does this, what does this environment look like? The once thriving Indian startup ecosystem is now grappling with a stark funding drought as capital inflow to startups tanked by close to 80% during the first seven months of 2020-23 compared to the same period last year. This decline in funding comes at a time when industry watchers are sounding the alarm about the potential overestimation of India's internet market post the pandemic-led boost. Indian startups managed to secure $4.4 billion in private equity and venture capital funding from January to July 2020-23, a sharp drop from the $19.3 billion secured 
during the same months in 2020-22. The number of funding deals also plummeted from 822 to 344, reflecting the severity of the funding crisis faced by these startups. In just July 2023 alone, investors participated in 42 funding rounds, investing 523 million dollars, compared to a substantial 2.6 billion dollars invested across 77 funding rounds in the corresponding month of the previous year. The 80% year-on-year funding decline in July was coupled with a 45% drop in the number of deals compared to July 2020-22. Adding to the funding woes, a growing list of industry watchers along with startup founders and VCs are raising concerns about this overestimation of India's internet market. Among the active investors in 2020-23, Peak X3 Partners, who you may remember, formerly known as Sequoia India, led the pack with 21 deals, followed by Bloom Ventures with 16 deals, and Axel India with 12 investors. The funding landscape has seen a considerable drop in $100 million transactions, with most large deals falling within the range of $30 to $50 million. Top deals in 2020-23 so far include Lenskart $500 million fundraise and Builder.ai's $250 million funding round. In May, Nifra Dot Market, Zetwork, and Insurance Deco also managed to raise 150 million dollars each. Despite isolated instances of M&A transactions like Lions Retail and Sheila Foam, the overall picture remains grim, with the startup ecosystem in India still trapped in a funding window. The hopes of a strong revival later seems may seem. I'm repeating the line. The hopes of a strong revival may seem unlikely, and the total funding for 2020-23. Is unlikely to surpass the 15 billion dollar mark. In a landscape characterized by uncertainty and caution, Indian startups must navigate these challenging times, focusing on adaptability, resilience, and innovative strategies to emerge stronger from the current funding crisis. The road ahead may be arduous, but these startups need to overcome the obstacles and redefine success in an evolving startup ecosystem. What's the journey ahead? And that's the wrap. 2nd August 2023